Hello, Bartnell family. Welcome back to another day of my vlogs here. Today I want to discuss why we actually get tremors with this lovely disease. We also get it with like the Lyme and the regular co-infections. Now I don't like to call Bartonella a co-infection of Lyme because you can have Bartonella without supposedly having Lyme. I know the testing isn't always accurate, but we're going to call it Bartonella today. But this actually touches topics with Lyme and also regular co-infections. So this is why we get a tremors. All right, we'll start with one of the simple reasons, which is obviously our bodies are recognizing there is something foreign in them. So our immune response is to swell. Okay, what happens a lot of times is you get swelling in your brain, you get swelling in your spine, and it pushes on those nerves, causing us to jump. Kind of like, you know, the old trick when we were kids, we would squeeze our wrists like this and our hands and our fingers would move. Now, one of the main things is not really mentioned on the web. Um, they'll just mention the side effects that we have. Of course we know we have tremors. All right, imagine my finger being a nerve, okay? The skin around it is the coating. All right, when your body is having an autoimmune response, a lot of times what it does is it eats that coating around your nerves. So it'd be like cutting my skin and it would be exposing my flesh underneath, correct? So you're exposing that nerve, now you've got a hole, which is a lesion. And like a TV wire, say for example, the cord, the outside, the, the rubber on it is broken and you go to plug that in in the wall and you're gonna have 4th of July, you're going to have fireworks going off. Um, you're going to get, you know, popping and all this and that. Well, that's what our body does. When that nerve is exposed, you get jumping and jolting and all this exciting stuff going on. So that is why we get tremors, jumps, and jolts, and jerks, and everything else. Because of that. Or it could be because of the swelling. There's different types of tremors which I'm not really gonna go into but right there's your main things now here is something that I really suggest that people watch on YouTube and it's called under our skin um, it's a documentary on Lyme disease and it's co-infections and it's really good at talking about root causes to things now they did studies on Harvard brain samples in part one and the people that had MS there was they tested 10 people 10 brain samples of people that had had MS and every one of them tested positive for some sort of co-infection like Lyme yeah yuck right so don't think that science doesn't know that okay they also tested for uh, can't remember all of them, Parkinson's, uh, ALS, Lou Gehrig's, uh, a few other different things. And I think Parkinson's was at like seven out of 10 brains tested positive for having some sort of like Lyme thing. I think ALS was also 10. Don't quote me, I could be wrong, but I do remember that MS was definitely 10%, all of them. So when you look into treatments and options and, and reasons for things with MS it falls right into the same category with us so I will try to find the link if I can find it still on there and I will post it below in the section and um, definitely 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 watch part one I have both the movies here I have part one and part two part two is okay but it's more legalities and stuff that doctors you know went through and things like that where is part one is what I would link down there is absolutely phenomenal all right guys I hope nobody is ruining your disposition try to listen to some sort of positive affirmations if only for five minutes a day prior to bed driving to work 
while you're in the shower, something. Do not allow anybody to ruin your mood. Bartonella does it to you on your own. Think positive, uplifting things. I love you guys. And I'll catch you in another video soon.